one of the biggest requests I always get in my videos is, hey, Sal, can you do a video on how I can convert my communication manager phones or maybe phones that you just bought, and I want to convert them to MPP or third-party call control. That way you can take them to WebEx Calling or, hey, you know, I get it. You might want to take them to Ring Central or 8x8 or one of those other cloud providers out there. So in today's video, that's what we're going to talk about. And guys, if you're new to my channel, please remember to click that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. So in today's episode, we're going to go through all the minutia on how to get these things converted. There are a couple limitations. I'm going to post a white paper in the description below. We're going to go over that white paper here first. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do the conversion. I've got a couple phones in front of me here, an 8800 series and a 7800 series. So with that, let's dive in and we'll show you guys how to get this. So let's start with the white paper here that I talked about. This is going to give us the detail on whether our phones can be converted or if they can't be converted. And if it's going to be a 7800 series phone or 8800 series phone, the thir first thing that you want to do is flip the phone over and there's going to be a sticker on there. And that sticker is going to tell you the hardware version that your phone is on. You can see here that this is 7821 and it's on version 01 of the hardware here. Once you know that, we can come up to this chart here and we can take a look at if we can convert it or not. So if I have a 7811 or 7821 and it's on a version of hardware uh, under three, then that phone will not be able to get converted. If it's 7841 and it's under version four, again, same thing. There is a note in here on the 8800 series phones that you have to be on an earlier version than 14. That's just because we haven't created the uh, MPP firmware yet to move to that version. So I expect this to be changing uh, in the months ahead. You know, if you're watching this video a year after I created it, you probably don't have to worry about this one, but it is on here. So I figured I'd just point that out. So you just have to watch out for when that firmware is actually available. So first thing, check your phones, make sure that they can get uh, switched over to this MPP 3PCC firmware. Then the next thing you're going to have to do is get a license. And there are a couple ways that you can get a license for the phone. The first way is you can purchase it. I'll put the SKU again in the description of the video so you guys can look at that. Uh, or if you have a flex plan and you're moving to WebEx Calling, that license will already be included with your flex plan in order for you to do that. And then in the next a segment here we'll talk about uploading that file because you're going to need to do that first before you actually do the conversion. To do the conversion we're going to head over to upgrade.cisco.com and then on the left side we're going to click on the enterprise to webex calling slash mpp. Once we're in here there are a couple videos too that Cisco published that you guys can look at and we're going to head on down here. The first thing that you need to do is you need to upload that license file. You're going to go ahead and click choose file and then here's that license file that you have to get either through your flex agreement or by purchasing these by themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open, click on the upload button right there, and now that file is uploaded. Once you have your license file uploaded there, there's actually a couple different ways that you can get these phones to flip over here. There's two bulk migration methods. So one, if you already have all your phones registered to communication manager, Two, if you just have like 200, 300,000 phones, not registered communication manager, you can actually stage it using DHCP. And then the last method here would be more for if you only have a couple, two, three, five, ten phones, and you're just trying to move those over, this is a really easy way of doing it. That's kind of the way that I'm going to show it off today. But if you are interested in the other two, there are YouTube videos that Cisco posted that you guys can look at. For this method here, it's really simple. All we do after our license file is uploaded is come over to our phone, uh, change the TFTP server to this 3.14 server here, and then it's gonna go in automatically, check that license file, and then push the firmware down to the phone. So let's cut over to the phone and I'll show you guys this in action. So on the phone now, we're gonna hit the settings button. That's the one that's got the gear on it. And we're gonna go into admin settings. Ethernet setup, IPv4 setup, scroll down, and we're going to go to alternate TFTP. We're going to say on to that, and then the alternate TFTP server, we have to come down to that one, click into it, 
And then we need to put that TFTP server that was listed. So it's 3.14.2.11.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.